And I say the best thing for me to do, it's worse with me because I have video and radio. I have video and audio, and that lives forever. And it goes for you too, you whore. So, let's see. We can't really call her red. It's got to be something else. We'll come up with something. You stay tuned. We'll come up with something. Now, uh, I think there's a band getting ready to perform, and we will be back with you in the next break. Yes, we will. <laughs> oh, yes, we will. Here. Oh, my God. Why is it? Why has it got to be this hard? We're back here on Jiggy Jag TV, Community Access Television, the lowest rated show on access, but number one in hell, especially on this evening. Why do you let this shit happen? That's what I don't get. I love it. I love every minute of it. No, he doesn't. We're here with the God Project. Gentlemen, uh, introduce yourselves. Uh, I'm Jeremy. Uh, I'm Jason, man. I I play in uh, the God Project. Is this thing on? Might as well be, brother. I don't think it's on. Are we on the, the radio? You're on TV. TV? Is this heaven? All right, well, God Project uh, rocks your world. Why not? Nope. We're missing a member of the band. You're on the radio, dude. Okay. You're just... We are actually missing two members. Uh, she's right there, actually. There she is. We can flag her down, but she's, uh, you know, doing the promo thing. And we're also missing uh, Josh, the only other founding member besides myself. He is, uh, he's in uh, Topeka tonight. Uh, he's helping take care of his wife and newborn. So uh, he's, uh, he's, he's a family guy, too, you know, in addition to. He's a cartoon. That's awesome. Yeah. He's, he looks exactly like Peter Griffin. <laughs> Dead on. So, uh, gentlemen, where the hell do you come from? Uh, we're from basically Topeka. Uh, only one of us actually lives in Topeka, but you know, general vicinity. We're uh, we're we're actually from Sweden. Actually, uh, Finland, Finland, uh, Finland or Sweden, somewhere in Norwegia. We say everything's with plurals. We're from the Midwest. Don't judge us. Of Norwegia. So, uh, what the hell brings you guys out to the Blue Goat tonight? Uh, we actually have a little bit of friends and family here, but uh, which is part of why uh, we're, we've played quite a few shows with Seasons. And uh, we just kind of said, hey, uh, you guys play Salina. It seems like once a month, drag us out there sometime. And they've kind of done that. That's kind of how our relationship with them has been. If they wanted to show someplace, we had the connections. It happened. If it was the other way around, we did it. Uh, kind of a good band-to-band -band relationship and they're cool guys and we, we get along with them well have fun every time we've been in the same place so as, as you guys got a myspace or website or anything yeah it's, uh, myspace slash the god project godproject.net uh we updated enough yeah he's gonna go buy me a drink now and that's what's really important and we're losing a member of the band you know how it goes uh now uh chris jump in with a couple of your questions here this is terrible. <laughs> All right, I got, I got five. It's cooler when it's wide, right? Yeah, I guess. All right. <laughs> what was the coolest thing you've ever seen in a concert? Um, I've got about three to five uh, coolest things. Uh, you know, I guess it's, it's all in the performance in some way or another. Uh, you know, uh, from seeing the faint play at the the bottleneck, with you know lights that their base is kicked on and just so much fog it just was like red or white or strobing and you know I'm, you know them rocking out some crazy 80s rock like synth pop shit to uh you know slipknot playing the same club for as many people as you could legally pack in there and then another hundred maybe you know one of my friends in the back of the room saying wow that was the craziest shit i've ever seen i mean the ceiling the walls shit was coming down and i mean you know, being in a place like Kansas where you could see shit like that, where you actually get to see the bands, you know, from here rather than from another two miles that way, uh, you know, and you get to see them before then and after and whatnot. I mean, uh, bands nobody's heard of like Joseco who play for 10,000 people in Mexico City. They play for 50 in the basement of a gay bar in Kansas City. <laughs> You know, or, you know, I should say they know I bought and talking about how they played in the Catholic school the last time they were here. 
Uh, you know, and it's one of those bands that just brings out everything from tune jet turbines to, you know, uh, you know, guitars that if you didn't know, if you didn't see a guitar on stage, you'd have never believed it was one. So, I mean, I, I've seen a lot of amazing shows here. I've been part of a lot of amazing shows. I mean, from, you know, we put in a solid year selling our souls to a metal club in Topeka called the Static Bar. And, you know, uh, helped run shows from everybody from Mushroom Head to Drowning Pool to, you know, 1349s, uh, you know, uh, Goat Horde, uh, you know, Flaw, or whatever, you know, I mean, just, I mean, like, I don't know, everybody should have an internship where they sell their soul to a club for a year. You know, just work for pennies, you know, and, and, or drinks or whatever moves you. Work to get to hang out with bands and learn how, what it takes to put on a show, you know. It's, I got one more thing to say. I think your bassist chick is hot, so I hope that's not your girlfriend. I'm sorry. Um, it's, uh, a little bit more than my girlfriend. Oh, I'm sorry. I think uh, she's hot, too. Well, awesome. That's awesome. Well, thank you, man. You're good. Well, let's go watch him perform here on Jiggy Jag TV.